What's up everybody, welcome to a new video and today we will take a look on gold because this coin right now is forming really really interesting trading setups that I want you to know about. So if you are interested about the exact trades that I'm planning to take here, of course if certain conditions are met then definitely watch this video till the end. Before this video continues, I just want to let you know that this YouTube channel is directly connected with my Discord trading group, where I am sharing everyday analysis on the altcoins that I'm currently watching. So if you are interested in that, you can check it out. And link to join is in the description or in the comments. Let's start today on a 30 minute chart. Here I am watching two main areas. The first one is this bearish order block, which is between levels 0 0.8290 and 0 0.7811. And then this bullish order block, which is between levels 0 0.716 and 0 0.6815. Let's start today with a long position from this bearish order block. So this is right now an important resistance, but if there will be breakout with a support confirmation, then this can actually be a first interesting opportunity for a long trade. Stop loss in this case, you want to place under this bearish order block, because if there will be breakdown with a resistance confirmation, then the price is probably going down. So you don't want to hold your losing position longer than it's necessary. Your last big profit target, you need to then place above the current all time high which is on 0 0.90 and with a trade like this you want to speculate for risk reward ratio around 10 something something like that so your last take profit target will be above like one dollar so it will be like 1.377 something something like that which is in my opinion really really great and this trade can give you potential profit up to 65 percent of a net market of course, the risk reward ratio 10 is not going to be your, your final risk reward ratio because with a trade like this, you want to take multiple take profit targets. Some of the profits you definitely want to take like under this current all time high, then definitely under $1 mark, which will be next important psychological resistance. Then, for example, under like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 and then you will save some back to elastic profit target. So in the end, the risk reward ratio is going to be like 6, 7, 7, something, yeah, something, something like that. Of course, if you want, you can place your elastic profit target, for example, under like $2 mark, because of course we can have here a huge pump. But with this trade, you are having risk reward ratio like 21.6. And that's in my opinion, a lot if you having like stop loss around 6.5% of a net market. But if you want, you definitely can, because I think that's like right now, this is definitely one of the most bullish altcoins at least during the last weeks you can for example see that from like this low to this high we did a pump around like uh, around like almost 500 percent and from this current level to uh let's say two dollar mark it will be pump like only one 150 percent so something something like that so i think this is definitely doable this coin is still really really small so if you want you can speculate on like a two dollar mark second setup that i am watching here right now is associated with this bullish order block but let's say to open here a long trade i want to see here a liquidated grab under this previous low so i want to see here something like this and if there will be a liquidated grab with a fake out and then a support confirmation you can open here a long trade let's assume that the, the support confirmation will be in the middle and stop loss in this case as i said you will place under the low that we will create during the fake out so let's stick again with like six percent stop loss something something like that which i think that's definitely that's definitely let's say a high probable scenario and the last take profit target in this case you can again place under for example one dollar mark if you want to have your let's say seven risk reward ratio or if you want you can for example place it again under like two dollar mark which will give you risk reward ratio up to 30 that's like absolutely insane again if you will take multiple take profit targets the risk reward ratio will be much much lower but for a trade like this, if you, let's say, want to take a trade with, let's say, lower probability on sex of success and better risk reward ratio, you can, of course, trade it something like this. Because, because important thing is that once we will get into a price discovery phase, I mean, like above the current all time high, that means that historically in this area, we don't have any interesting supports or resistances, then for the price, it shouldn't be that big of a deal to do a bigger moves. So that's, let's say, the main scenario. Why? I, so that's, let's say, the main scenario. Why? 
why I think that this coin can actually achieve those higher prices. But again, if you want to create your sum, let's say a long position like this, use proper risk management. So for a trade like this, do not risk more than like 0.5% from your trading capital, something, something like that. Because if you will risk such a low amount, there is still high probability that this trade will, let's say, end up in a loss. That's always if you are speculating for like 30 leverage, but you need to have a good risk management. So if this trade will result in a loss, you will lose like 0.5% of your trading capital. But if you will catch the last take profit target, then this profit will be still absolutely insane if we take a look on a 15 minute chart i think like higher time frames there's absolutely like no point of analyzing those higher time frames because this coin was uh, just launched on a multiple exchanges but if we will take a look on a 15 minute chart we have here this bearish order block so you can either trade this bearish order block or this bearish order block on a 30 minute chart i think there is like no difference because once there is a super confirmation of this bearish order block we are probably gonna go to a new all time high and on a 15 minute time frame you can perhaps watch like those lower levels around like uh, around like this previous lows because if i'm gonna switch you can see we have here like these two important bullish order blocks so if we are gonna get into those areas you can use it as potential long opportunities as well but for example, guys, if you want to know about all the trades that I'm doing, or if you simply want to copy my analysis, then definitely don't forget to join my Discord trading group where I'm sharing those analysis every single day. And link to join is in the description or in the comments. But yeah, guys, this will be all from me for today. Thanks again for watching. I will be really, really happy if you consider subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I will see you in my next video. See ya.